Good morning, everybody. Girl, let me get out of this park before I start talking to y'all. Before this gets ugly. Okay, good morning, everyone. I look a little hit today. I seriously feel like Kim K. <laughs> Kim K hiding for the paparazzi. Like, I feel like a fucking soccer mom with this haircut. Like, let's talk about it. So, it's been a long time. I actually have some videos that I really, really, really need to get done. Like, uh, a couple of hair companies. I had to get some videos out the way. But before I came to y'all with, like, hair videos or just, you know, my regular uploads, I wanted to talk to y'all because I was like, girl, you can't just be popping up at folks' houses and shit without saying, hey, like, and then you've been gone for a couple months? Like, no, girl. So, hey y'all, I'm here. So as you all know, I've been doing YouTube for some years now and it's not for me, obviously, been for the money or the fame or whatever the fuck else you can get out of YouTube. Like, it's never been that for me. I've always treated YouTube almost like a diary. There are some videos, like tutorials and stuff, I like to do just because I do it anyway. I'm a person that likes to do hair and makeup. I will get all dolled up for absolutely no reason just because I feel like doing hair and makeup is literally therapy, seriously. Outside of those videos, I vlog because I like to be able to look back on the you know videos that i've uploaded and see how much i've grown in my mindset and why i was and what i was doing if i was happy if i was unhappy you know things like that that's like exactly what i use youtube for so with that being said i have to record this video so a, a, a few weeks ago i made a decision that is going to change the direction that my life is going to go. It's a pretty big decision. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I made the decision to stop going to school. As y'all know, if y'all been following me for some time, you know I've been attending the University of West Georgia. This year was my junior year and I pretty much just stopped going to school. And let me tell you why. So I started college as a nursing major because without getting too deep into it, because I've talked about this a little bit in a video before, but because both of my parents had cancer at the same time, and you know, me always wanting to do hair and be a hairstylist and things like that, when my parents got sick at the same time at an age that was so critical to me, I was a teenager, you know, in high school going through this, and it's since I had to help raise my little brother at the same time because both of my parents were down for so long. It was something that made me change career paths almost instantly. It was like, okay, this hair stuff can always be put on hold. I live in Atlanta, so, you know, I can always go find somebody to teach me how to do hair. Like, it's nothing. You know, Atlanta's the hair capital. It's nothing. I wanted to be a nurse or a doctor or somebody in the hospital that could help people because I just saw how important the nurses were to my parents and to other people going through the same things and or worse conditions. Like, I literally saw the importance of nurses. So, I went to CNA school. I changed my, or I went to college to be a nurse. You know, I went through it. And as I was in college, I just started to learn that I was just not happy. Dad, my freshman year, my whole motivation to go to school kind of dropped. I didn't want to be there anymore. I felt like, you know, everything just wasn't adding up. I was going through stuff in my relationship as well. I needed to take a break and I didn't. And I pretty much messed up my GPA to a point of no return if I wanted to be a nurse anyway. You know, nurses have to have pretty, pretty high GPAs. With that being said, I changed my major to something that would put me still in the hospitals, health and community wellness, something that I would still be satisfied with, that I could still continue with my GPA. And I pursued that for about a year. Last semester was my last semester pursuing that uh, major. To be honest, I still wasn't in love with the idea of being in the hospital anymore. In fact, I had got sick not too long ago, maybe a month ago with alcohol poisoning and had to be in the hospital myself. And I was traumatized. Like I was in so much pain, but I was only crying once I got to the emergency room. Like it's just so many memories started to flash back. I was not comfortable. I needed my mom more than ever. She was right by my side and she didn't even understand why I was so flustered in the hospital. But to be honest, I feel like being in and out of hospital for so many years at such a critical time in my life with both of my parents being down and then actually losing my dad in the hospital I think it actually traumatized me to be honest and I started to feel like I was chasing someone else's dream like I couldn't even go to the hospitals without breaking down or thinking about my dad like I have actual things that I need to work on before I can even pursue a career 
career in the medical field. And to be honest, I'm just not interested anymore. And it just, you know, I stopped going to class, not because I'm being lazy, but because I wasn't interested. I didn't care about what we were talking about. Like, granted, surprisingly, my grades were pretty good this semester, but you know, I just, I got tired of chasing a dream that I just didn't see for myself anymore. And I felt like if anyone was a true supporter of me, a true, you know, family member of me, someone that knew me well, they'd understand the reason why I left school. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not the type to just quit shit. Like, I never just quit shit and just stop. I stopped going to school to start going to hair school. I will be starting hair school in the fall. This spring, I'm actually moving out of the apartment I'm in now. DeAndre and I are moving into our own place in a couple of months. So it's kind of like really hectic right now. And I really want to focus on getting my own place with DeAndre and us being stable before I start school. Because the last thing I need is something getting in the way of school and me not being able to finish hair school on time. Am I disappointed in myself a little bit because I feel like I should have just chased my dream from the beginning, but I was too worried about what people would think about me if I just, you know, went to cosmetology school like everybody does. But to be honest, none of that shit matters to me anymore. Like, I don't care about what anyone else has to say. This is my life and I have to make the most out of it. And I have to do what makes me happy because I'm the one that's living it. And no one else is gonna finance or feed me or you know do what I need to get done for me but me so it's like I need to at least be doing what makes me happy so that's what I want to do I want to go to school for hair I want to you know make Aramis Loves You a brand I want to start selling wigs I want to be extremely professional with it and have a degree and a license to back it up you know that's what I want to do so hopefully you guys understand and follow me I know this video is gonna be all over the place I am on the way to the nail salon probably because I need to get my eyebrows done just really quick in and out and then I need to go to the beauty supply store because I'm constructing a U part wig and I want to make this wig like able to take it on and off so I need to get some wig clips because I've already made the wig like I'm also going to be trying like an avocado banana deep conditioner on my natural hair today like I know some people want to see my natural hair so today's actually like a, an important day it's hair day so I have to take my braids down and have my mom braid my hair because she does the best braids to me <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today so on the way to the nail salon we go girl uh this is a before my eyebrows look almost connected girl yeah totes. I usually drive all the way to the nail salon all the way by my mom's house where I went to high school because they are old reliable they've been doing my brows for like what five six seven years girl don't, don't, don't let me get to tell about age bitch so this is the after and I do get them waxed so that's just like the aloe vera or whatever they put on like after they wax to kind of soothe the skin a little bit but I always like wipe this shit off with alcohol as soon as I get home and wash my face but as you can see they're still thick I just have my shape and they're not connected and since the beauty supply store is already over here I just went ahead and grabbed some wig clips these are different like they didn't have the kind that clip down like, I, they've been actually a lot harder to find a lot of people used to complain about them like pulling the hair out or hurting too much so I guess this is like supposed to be a better option but these are just side combs so I'm just gonna like attach these to the wig i'm gonna sew them through the teeth up here hopefully they serve the same purpose so these were a dollar but then i got like some thinner ones for like the edges because i feel like these are a bit too thick for the edges but we'll see these are like a dollar a piece and then i went ahead and got a new la girl pro conceal because literally this is like crack i use a like one of these a week so yeah all right y'all so i'm back i just wanted to show y'all what the deep conditioner looks like in my hair. I mixed an avocado, a whole banana, honey, and olive oil together, and here's like what's left. Not a lot. It, it made like pretty much the perfect amount for my hair. And I did shampoo my hair with the Cantu shampoo first. My hair is like really shrunken down right now because the avocado and banana is so heavy. Like you can still see kind of chunks in it. But I'm going to put on a plastic cap and chill around the house, probably wash some wigs, style some wigs, whatever, for about an hour or two. And let this like get into my hair and moisturize it. And I do this 
I always do like home remedies on my hair every time I wash it because my hair is always in braids under wigs. So since I'm washing it every like six to eight weeks, it needs a super heavy deep conditioner every time. So I normally go with something with mayo just because mayo is a lot more moisturizing, but I hate the smell. I hate the smell of a mayo based deep conditioner. So I tried something new with avocado and banana today. I liked it. It doesn't smell. Uh, it's not as messy as mayo. We'll see how my hair likes it later but yeah i'm gonna put a plastic cap on and let this sit on my hair for a couple of hours rinse it out and then come back so the hair from so stuck up hair company is done conditioning look at this it's so cute it's like a little purse it's so cute and then like on the back it says i don't think i'm better but i know my hair is literally how fucking cute is that curly hair that i'm literally combing straight through Literally, and I love supporting other hair companies, especially if you're going to send me quality. But this is a little bit special because I went to high school with her. So, you know, I like supporting other black girls coming up and especially if it's a quality. Like how, how much curly hair do you know so you can actually comb through like this all the way? And y'all already know, I'm honest, I'm real. So out of the whole detangling, conditioning, all that, I've gotten this much hair. Y'all, for curly hair, that ain't nothing. My floors are clean, and I'm happy about that. So I'm excited to see what it'll look like in the morning. And then I guess in the next video, I'll show y'all me applying the wig and how I get my hair blending more. Now, I made this into a U-part because like I said, I didn't get a frontal or a closure with these bundles. So I'm thinking that with the leftover hair, I have like half a track left over, um, half a bundle, I guess. I'm going to create like clipping extensions to wear up here with my real hair so it's more blendable. But that's gonna be shown in my next video. I kinda just wanted to show y'all what I was doing, like how I was prepping the wig and all that stuff for the video. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, About the, I didn't wanna make like the video about my hair because it was supposed to be like about, you know, the big decision that I made. So yeah, I didn't wanna like vlog the whole thing, but basically, how I feel about the deep conditioning mask, I feel like the avocado worked. I did not like the banana. I spent like 30 minutes combing out banana out my hair. So the banana, I feel like made my hair definitely a lot softer, but it did like take a lot to comb out. And I feel like because of how curly it is, like if you have natural hair like me, I don't think, I don't recommend the banana, but I would do the deep conditioner again with just the avocado, the uh, olive oil and the honey. I feel like it would be a great deep conditioner. That's what I'm gonna do next time. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out so I can edit it and upload it tonight. I also have a video coming up for So Stuck Up Hair Company. Uh, I'm doing a U-part wig for them. I kind of have my braid down done in a way that I could have like a lace front on and then switch to a U-part in the middle of the week. So tomorrow I only work in the morning. So tomorrow night sometime I will film that video and have it up for y'all sometime. Hopefully Monday. Oh, by the way, meet my friend Nico. <laughs> Just say hey. Hey guys. He's like the boy Kimberly Kardashian, seriously. He works with me, but we're about to go into work. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.